Hey everyone, how are you tonight? It has been a while since we have been live. Excuse me. <laughs> so I'm really excited to be here with you tonight. I already see some ladies. Hello, Janine, Kim, Aaron, Elaine. So if you are clicking on this video, it is a live video and I am streaming in real time. I am using StreamYard. So if you are on YouTube, then you're not going to see the chat from Facebook and vice versa. So if somebody has a question, I will definitely um, read it aloud so that everybody kind of is picking up what I'm putting down. Um, and then, or you can open YouTube and Facebook so you don't have FOMO. Because I think Erin said that she always gets FOMO, so she opens up both tabs. So. Hi, Lori. Thanks for joining me tonight. Can you guys hear me okay? It's been a while. I had to play around with it. I was like, oh my gosh. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Hello, Lindsay. Hello, Heather and Janice. Hello, hello, everyone. I like how the emojis on YouTube, since I'm on StreamYard, it comes out saying hand pink waving. That's pretty funny. Hi. Yep, Aaron's like, I'm opening up Facebook right now. Hi, Joni. Welcome to our unicorn community. You will be happy with all these wonderful ladies. They are so fun to chat with. Um, hi, Aaron. Gosh, we have a lot of people hopping on. How exciting. So again, I am live and I'm on YouTube and Facebook right now. Oh, Tiffany. Thank you. Tiffany said she missed my crafting um, lives. Yes, we have been through a lot this year and it kind of just caught up to me. Hi, Lori. How are you doing in your new home, girl? Hi, Sadie. Hi, Mary. Welcome. Hello. Yeah, so I did not. I I attempted, you guys. Look at, look at how cute this is. We're going to be doing a two by four um, wood, like scrap wood video. And I just got a bunch of two by four scrap wood that we used for creating our booth space. And I'm going to make a bunch of pumpkins all different ways. So not just like the one way you're used to seeing it, but we're going to use them for several things. And I got some done, but I wanted it to be like a, you know, like at least like six or so projects in it. So I was like, I don't want to post it yet. Like I want to wait. And then I, I finished this up. Look how cute that is. And then forgot to seal it. So <laughs> we're going to have to do that. Hi, Susan, April, Melissa. Oh, that's awesome. So Lori, uh, she actually went to the For the Love of Junk weekend and she lived here in Kansas and she was moving like that sun that Sunday. No, that Saturday, her husband came and picked her up and they left like and so now she's near her babies, her grandbabies, that is and her babies. Um, hi, Lori, thank you so much for sending the stars. That was old 57, Heather. You know your colors, girl. Kim, um, right now it doesn't matter. I was trying to build up my live like minutes on Facebook, but I just, I, I haven't been on. So it really doesn't matter. Thank you for asking though. Hi, Sherry. One of my besties lives in Las Vegas. Yes, love me some scrap wood. I have piles of it. I have one, you guys, that is like, it's so Gorga. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Judy said, been too busy to try my goodies, but I get to watch you live. Don't wait too long, Judy, okay? <sighs> hey, Jenny. Hello, hello from Michigan. That's Susan. Hi, Caitlin. What time is it? Okay, it's 701. It is official. So if you are clicking on the video, you're probably used to this being like an actual recorded video. However, I already explained I did not have time to do one today um, or get one done, I should say. So um, I decided to go live and do a craft with you guys this way. So 
hopefully that makes up for the missing video tonight but there will still be a thrifted thursday and then there's going to be the two by four um wood video on saturday so hopefully that makes up for it hello diane and angela and again i am streaming on facebook and youtube so we are going to be using this scrap heat you guys i've had this scrap piece of wood that has been stained this barn red for ever. Um, so we are going to be using this. We are going to be using, and don't ask me if I know the names, uh, but I do have it available on my website. <laughs> we are going to be using some um, deco posh paper. This one is absolutely stunning. We're going to be using this side, but just to show you, I love these master board ones um, that have all the different pieces like look at how awesome these would be so good for halloween that just came in my mind right now these two would be so good for some like funeral pics oh. okay and then we have these two we have the floral brunch which i actually have a bigger version of but we are going to be using this one and this is like going to be a little different for me but it's kind of like a fall halloween vibe here uh elaine yes i did get all i got tons of liquid patina in so yes i have it um i have this in stock and all the products that i have i'm using in today's video are available on my website unicorn dust designs unicorn dust designs.com it is linked in the description boxes. Lisa, this is Roy Cycle Decoplage paper that I carry on my website. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have some fun. I grabbed some like molds that I already have made and you're probably gonna be like, that pumpkin does not look like it's gonna go, but just wait. Yes, on my website, Elaine. So Heather, I have decoplage papers the DIY paints, the salt wash, and then I just became an IOD stockist. However, however, so I ordered and I will have like in my hand, whatever they had left of holiday, which was the Hello Pumpkin Mold, the uh, Gingerbread Mold, the portobello stamps that's the one that kind of looks like a, a city and has all the people in it the kitty the dog stamp and then also the like uh wreath looking one with all the beautiful florals in it um and then i got the cozy stamp from last year which i absolutely love and couldn't believe they ha still had some um so i got the holiday ones those i will actually have in my hands and then I'm going to do a pre-sell on the rest of what I'm going to carry on the website. Um, this way I kind of get an idea of what you guys are looking for because they have so many items on there. It is frankly overwhelming. So I'm going to start by doing like a pre-sell, getting to know what you guys like and uh, going from there. But it takes forever to list all of that merchandise on my website. So just give me like a couple more days. Okay. I hope your surgery goes well. I'm going to go get a doggy pad because I'm already starting to get paint transfer from my desk onto my board. And yes, I said a pee pad. Yes, I did. Oh, Diane, I feel you. Uh, Melissa's salt wash is a paint additive. It's almost like using baking soda, except it's made for paint. It, it, I actually put it on this because I mixed, um, I don't know, like if you can see up here that like texture. So it holds the texture. Like it, it will not break down. It will not like smooth. Like it is hard and it's beautiful and wonderful. I had the sea glass mixed with this a lot. You guys, when I did my porch DIY video, it's still good. I need to get the pumpkin mold. I think I have the stamps I wanted. The stamps I love. The mold is pretty. And I made this the last time I used the small one on my box. And I was like, ooh, we are going to find a way 
to use this. Taryn, Sammy, did you get it? I called you Gorga because when you like something, thank you. I did not even catch that, Taryn. Thank you for the compliments. All right, you guys, we are going to get into it. Hi, Sharon. I'm going to use a little black dress for this. I'm just going to paint the back and the sides with the little black dress. And then we're going to do the front in, I don't know if I want to do white because I don't want it too stark. I'll probably do crinoline. Okay, here we go. Now, do as I say, not as I do. You should be pouring your paint out um, and then applying it to your piece. The DIY paints are all natural, so they don't have any chemicals to fight off, like if you have debris and stuff that gets up in there. Um, so just pour your paints out. Don't, I go through these fast, so I can't. That's my excuse anyways. No, it's really because I'm lazy. Ah! Why is this separating from the wood? There's nothing on here. That's odd. It's so weird. It's like pulling away from the wood, like as if I um, have oil on here. That's really weird. That's all right though, because really we're just using this to cover up um, the red and we're gonna be covering up the rest with some paper, so it doesn't matter. Sammy, don't make me freeze on IOD. What does that mean? What am I doing? <laughs> I love IOD. It is seriously, looking on their website, whew, it is overwhelming. Is Janine back on? Hello, Janine. Hey, Deborah. Oh, uh, Lori, I need to learn the names of stuff. It's funny because if you say it out loud, like if I'm like pulling decoupage paper, I could read it and I'll know what it is, but I don't like just remember it. So I have no idea what the Christmas Valley transfers are. I use Sandy Blonde behind that Harlequin pattern and it looks really good for Halloween with a pumpkin. Oh, okay. I could use Sandy Blonde under that, huh? Or even Faded Burlap would be good. Hi, Beverly. I just don't want stark whites underneath that paper because it, it just doesn't get those vibes. Okay. You guys, you will not believe how long I've had this piece of wood. And I don't know why it took me so long. Maybe just for this. They are last year. I think they go for $75 or $100. It's kind of crazy. I get when you have like something that's rare, but to charge that much, oh, it's like, don't we all just want to create, just sell it for what it's supposed to be. All right. What are we crafting? You guys, is everybody, hi, Sandy. Is everybody on? Oh, Lisa said, you know, when I put stuff in my cart, I tell everyone to freeze. You're so funny. You do do that on uh, the thrifted Thursdays. You crack me up. Um, are you guys still crafting for fall or Halloween or have you guys like moved on to Christmas? I feel like this year with my videos, I'm kind of just going with what I am feeling and vibing at the time. Last year, you know, I really was trying to like stick to a schedule, like fall from this time to this time, Christmas from this time to this time. I don't even think I did Halloween last year, except for like a mega video of old uh, Halloween videos. And this year I'm like, no, I want to do everything. And some weeks I'm like, oh, I want to do fall. And for the other video, I want to do Christmas. So excuse me if I've been all over the place with my crafting. Hey, Paige, how are you? Still fall. Deborah's crafting any season. Aaron's still doing fall and Halloween. Okay, good to know. Hello. I did some fall DIYs, planning on doing some for the front porch. Still doing fall. Okay, good, good. 
Oh my gosh, Tammy, you are like way ahead of the game. Tam Tammy said she's already making stuff for next spring's vendor show. Get it? Girl, following. I love that. Brenda is on Christmas. Oh my gosh, you guys are typing too fast. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sharon said that she's been paper crafting instead of crafting in her like usual. Hi, Ellen. Taryn's over fall, but during Christmas. Okay, good. Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate you watching my videos. Um, because I'm all over the place. I still want to at least do one more um Halloween video because I just have these ideas in my head that I need to get out. So hopefully it gets watched, <laughs> but that's okay if it doesn't, because at least I'm doing what I love. I have four tubs of Christmas gifts already made. Oh my gosh. You guys make me feel bad. Like I'm so far behind. Hello, Heather. Hi, Megan. Welcome to your first live Welcome, welcome. Everybody is so nice here. Okay, wait. wait. This glue gun right here is not going to work for me whatsoever. So let's dry this baby. I'm not even worried if the red kind of shows through because I could always go over this with black wax. And I'll probably help that problem. Andy said she's living vicariously through us. No crafting surgery on her fractured toe and can't walk for eight weeks. Oh my gosh. Sending you fast healing vibes, Andy. Hello, Trace. That's so cool, Elizabeth. Elizabeth's working on a bouncy horse for her granddaughter. It actually belonged to her husband when he was a kid. That's so great. Well, thank you, Tiffany. Megan's been watch, uh, making little gnome fall scenes. That's awesome. Janine, you and me both. Janine said she's working on whatever's next to her because she needs to get rid of her hoard. Girl, you were in my house. You saw my hoard. It was crazy. You guys, next year, Start saving your pennies because For the Love of Junk Weekend was the coolest weekend I have ever had. Hi, Andrea. We ended up having 10 total ladies come, which was seriously the most perfect amount because it was our first time. The ladies that came were, it, it couldn't have been like a better group, like especially for our first time. Like I felt like it you know, like it didn't take any work. It was effortless to like just hang out and have fun with all of them. We went thrifting. Um, we went to Savers and it was fun seeing just like everybody's style. Erin, which is on here, she like had a pile in her car before we even started the next day. Hi, Carrie. Um, and uh, we went to, gosh, what did we do? We went to dinner the night before, then we went thrifting, then we were crafting, then we did dinner again. It was just so much fun. It was an experience I will never forget. And it was really cool being able to hang out with people that like just get you, you know, like I don't have like friends that I just like get together and can go thrifting and then crafting with, you know, so it was really cool just being around people and like experiencing that. Like, I don't know, just experiencing hanging out with people that have the same passions as you. It was just really it was the coolest thing ever. And I'll never forget it. So uh, definitely save your coin for next year. Next year, we're thinking about making it a two day events where we actually like thrift all one day 
and then craft the entire next day. That was that was the ladies that came idea. They're like, no, we got to go thrifting all day, What you know, the next time. And I think that would be so much fun too. We do have videos, Paige. I just need to get it together. And Erin said that she thrifted on the way home. Thank you for sharing my video, Heather. I appreciate it. Next year, I want to pre-thrift with Erin. Yes, so drive. Some ladies even flew in and they were like, oh, I brought a second thing of luggage that's empty. <laughs> uh, yes, Ellen, a lot of people came long distance uh, for the event. Some drove in, some flew in, but it was so much fun. Yeah, Erin said it was so much fun bouncing ideas off each other and all the laughter. Janine came as well. Uh, she said that she made the best friends instantly and they're still chatting even after this, I heard, and I'm not even included in the group chat, whatever. Uh, the t-shirts were so nice. Did you make them? I did, Marianne. Um, uh, Brie ended up coming over and helping and we bleached them and then I sublimated them. I flew down and then drove home, Aaron said. <laughs> Ellen said, that's it. I'm coming next year. We also had some creators, Becky with, uh, Becky, what, do you guys remember what her, um, her Facebook is? It's the something spruce. I'm drawing a blank, but she is, um, here on Facebook and she just started a youtube channel as well i wish i could remember because she's trying to grow on youtube you guys if i find that link i will i'm going to link it in the description box of this and you guys go check her out and then kendra from nightly creations she was there as well so so really really cool oh man you guys i don't have my water cup i need to go get that <laughs> do you guys hear Miss Montgomery up there? Okay, hold on. Let me go get a water cup. Mm, okay. I should empty the one that I already have full with paintbrushes, but... That won't happen for a while, I'm sure. Okay, let's get rid of all this black ink. You want to learn how to sublimate? It's really easy. But the only thing, like I told you guys with sublimation is that you have to, yes, the Simple Spruce Studio, go look her up on YouTube and she's bigger on Facebook, but she's trying to grow on YouTube. So if y'all are on YouTube, go look Becky up. She is very, very talented and she likes the same things, thrifting, flipping, all of that stuff. So definitely check her out. And then... Deborah, Sammy has inspired me from the first video. Oh, you guys are too sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, um, are you selling any Halloween items? No, I am not because I have not had time. I pulled stuff down, but I have not had time to actually like, I need to wash these. These are from the event and um, they're kind of stuck together. Um, I have not had time to go through that okay i think i'm gonna use faded burlap i hardly have any so let's do that you guys are awesome hello hi diana and then who is sorry i should know this because it looks familiar putin putin tain putin tain <laughs> I'm probably butchering that. Don't listen to me. Okay. So the reason I am uh, doing the front of this a different color is because I don't want the black to show through the decoupage paper. The decoupage paper, uh, yes, you do need a, you need a printer that you can turn into a sublimation printer if you do not buy a sublimation printer. Does that make sense? Sublimation printers are really expensive. So people are buying Epsons and then just putting sublimation ink into them. Um, 
Thank you, Sadie. So I am painting it a lighter color on the front because I don't want the black coming through um, the decoupage paper because it's nice and it works well, but they're still thin. And that's why sometimes you'll see me like put stamps underneath them because whatever you put on here is most likely going to show through. So keep that in mind. I won't faded burlap. Oh, want. I should put my glasses on. <laughs> I was like, you won't faded burlap? Why won't you use it? I love faded burlap. It's beautiful. Hello, Kenny. I think you said Kenny or something. I use Epson Eco Tank 2720. I have the 16600 or something like that. I got the bigger one because it was becoming way too time consuming to cut the images up um, and stick them together to, you know, create bigger images. So I got, I ended up selling that one and uh, getting the bigger one so that I could just print one sheet and not have to worry about putting them together. <clears throat> I am like becoming, obviously I'm selling it, but um, addicted to the decoupage papers. They are so easy to use and they completely can transform a piece, just like all the IOD products and stuff like that too. Um, but the style, you know, is completely different than IOD. Like IOD kind of has a specific style with the decoupage papers. I mean, there's everything, everything. Every kind of style, look, they got it. Uh, I could, Paige, Paige asked if I could start selling sublimation images, but they would probably have to just be ones that I already have. Well, I don't know. Ones that I already have. Like, I wouldn't do, like, special designs and stuff like that like custom ones because I do not have time for that. All right, come on. I'm probably going to have to do two because I don't want the chance of these streaks from my brush showing through. Hi, Veronica. Hello, Michelle. The pumpkin stamps. I don't know if you can find those, Deanna. The pumpkin stamps, you might on Etsy. Hopefully nobody's selling them for a crazy price. Yeah, the pumpkin stamps are from last year. Yeah, I probably could, Paige. I'm going to start selling you guys the... Um like the resin pieces, like if you're somebody that doesn't really want to invest in the molds or you don't think you're going to use them all the time, but you're like, ooh, I want those. I'm going to start pouring the molds and selling them like as the set. Uh, so look out for that. John and I are going to start pouring those soon, especially the things like, um, uh, what do you call it? Like the ones that are seasonal that they no longer carry, like the Christmas one, people are like trying to sell for two hundred dollars. Yeah, that one. Yay, Elizabeth! Elizabeth said she just got the pumpkin mold today. I should be getting that this week to put in my on my website. I'm so glad I hadn't taken the IOD. IOD jump so now I can support Sammy. Oh, you're so sweet, Lisa. Thank you so much. Uh, Carol, I use, so the white one I use amazing resin. And this is the one that like cures in 10 minutes. And then I actually tried another one for our For the Love of Junk weekend. I, I'll have to get up and get the bottles because I don't remember the name. But I tried it, it was the 
24 hour like version, like the clear one. And I really liked it. Like really, really liked it. Brenda said she's glad I'll be selling the resin pieces. Yay. Yes, TSR, I will be selling molds and stuff. I'm going to be doing a pre-sell of IOD stuff shortly. Um, I just have it. I just have to load all of the stuff in on my website. It is overwhelming. Okay. Uh, I wish I wasn't such a perfectionist because this could be like totally fine. Mm, let's just, I'll, I'll do this first. But I'm like, I don't want to see any of the streaks that I have. Do you guys see like the little, like, I don't know if you guys can see the streaks in there. Can you see it right here? I turned off this light hoping it would be better, but no. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, that doesn't work. Um, who lives in a pineapple under the tree? Oh no, I thought you weren't going to be able to get the Christmas ones. So Elizabeth, I didn't get the, um, I got the Christmas stamps were still available. The gingerbread mold and the hello pumpkin mold. The Christmas tree mold is no longer available and sold out in, at the warehouse. And then all the transfers were gone. So I couldn't get any of that. Awesome, Lori. Hi, Stacy. No worries. Paige, I mean, like, I will be selling, like, the actual, like, pieces, like this. So, like, however the mold comes, I'm going to pour that entire mold and then just sell these for, like, people that, don't think they would utilize like a mold over and over and over again, but want like pieces. It turns clear, Lindsay. The other resin is clear. Here, before, hi, Judy. Um, before I forget, let's see. I'll try and remember to, I was like, I don't even know what this says. Hold on. I have the box. Um, uh, Here it is. It's heavy. And you guys, this one, so if you don't care about it curing in 10 minutes, this is going to be so much more cost efficient. I think it says B B S R E Z N epoxy resin. Yeah. B R B S R E Z N. 64 ounces of epoxy resin, clear anti-yellowing. This is what it looks like. I do not get paint bubbles from the heat gun, Deborah. Um, so this one turns clear, but this one is 24 hour cure time. But what I loved about it is we poured a bunch of them at like 8 p.m. at night the next morning when I came to check on them, I could pop them out, but they were so flexible that I was like, that would be awesome to just like pour it the night before. And then if I wanted to do a bunch of things on like canisters or something, they were so flexible. It was awesome. And then by the time it hit 8 p.m., they were like hard as a rock. But this this is the better value. If you don't mind it taking longer to dry, this is amazing. So I will, and like, it's huge. The, the resin, the amazing resin comes in tiny little bottles. So yeah. Hi, Corinne. How are you? Yeah. The box is huge. Oh, Janine, Janine said that she got the 24 hour one and made a mess over pouring. So did John and I. John and I made a huge, actually, look it. I got it all over my sweater. My sweater's like hard right there. We got it everywhere because I was like pouring and I was like dipping my shoulder, like my sweater into the mold. It was a hot mess. You guys, no, Stephanie, this one cures and turns clear. I actually are, do I have any? No, I think uh, I we gave them all to the um, 
the wonderful ladies. Oh, here it is. Here's one. The legs broke off of him because um, I didn't pour it correctly, but that's, that's how they dry. I will put this in my Amazon store link, you guys, right after this video. And then you can check out the Amazon link in my description box. It's called like B S R E Z N. Weird name, but um, there we go. Deborah put it, I think, Brezen or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to just see if any of these streaks show up on the back of it because if it does, then it's just going to drive me nuts and. I won't be able to sleep at night. <laughs> okay, let's see. I wanted like majority of her wings to be on there. No, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. And then I could always use this top piece for another part. So I'm just going to go ahead. I will put faded burlap back. I'm going to cut this entire piece off. What reindeer are we talking about? Hey, Sin. The snowflakes is blitz. Y'all, I don't know. Uh, Betty, I actually have not tried painting uh, the clear ones yet. I don't see why they'd be any different. They feel exactly like the white ones. Like I have the white right here. Yeah, they feel exactly the same, except they're clear and white. So... Hi, Lori. Diane, I do have this paper available. Hi, Sammy. Love your channel, Creative Ideas, Sense of Humor, and Family Photos, and Hank. Thanks for all your inspiration. Thank you, Lori, for those kind words. I appreciate them, and it is seriously my pleasure sharing all of it with you. Uh, Deborah, I am not a... Um, a resin master by any means, so... I didn't really pay attention to bubbles. I didn't see any bubbles in any of the resin pieces that I did do. Uh, ladies that are on here that got the resin pieces, did you guys notice any bubbles? I didn't notice any bubbles. So I'm going to say no. All right. So we are going to, we got that cut out. I'm going to take my liquid patina, which I think it's Ruthie. Ruthie, didn't you say, you agree now, this is a game changer, okay? It is so different than using Mod Podge. So different. All right, let's see. Don't throw away any of your, your decoupage, okay? Don't you, don't you do it because... You can use all of the scraps on so many things. I'm not liking how that line is like lining up. Do I want it over to the side more like that? Or towards the middle like that? Hmm. I think that's good. So. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of press this down and get a good idea of where I need to cut. You know what? I might just, I'll cut this top part, leave the bottom, and then when I sand it off, I'll save the remnants of that. <sighs> no, I have not tried UV resin. I'm not a big, like I said, I don't, I'm not a big resin user. I just use it for the molds and that's it. The amazing resin is as far as I've gone. So like, see, like you want to keep different pieces because this can be stuck on like something else. So I'm going to keep that. Like I keep all of them. I have scrap pieces of decoupage paper everywhere. <laughs> Ruthie broke up with Mod Podge. Sorry if I'm missing people's um, 
what they're putting. You guys are typing fast, which I love because that means you guys are talking. Yes, TSR, she said they also sell paddle attachments for your drill to help mix it so your wrist doesn't hurt because I started mixing it by hand and John came downstairs and he's like, there has to be an easier way. Isn't there like an attachment to your drill? And I was like, oh my gosh, you know what? In my Amazon store, you guys, there's, I have silicone cups. It's like a little kit and it comes with one of those mixers in there. Terry, I, I've tried the iron on method with um, Mod Podge, but I have not tried it with liquid Bettina. Oh, these, I need to get some saran wrap. It's, I have saran wrap right there from wrapping my paints. I just need to grab it. Hey, what'd you do? I'm like, I'll just put it back down. I don't want to waste that. All right, so I'm going to spritz this with some water. I'm going to spritz it with water. If you guys do not watch Roy, Royce herself from Royce Cycle Decoupage Paper, Definitely go follow her, especially I like watching her TikTok because it's an easy way of like learning different techniques. And um, I have been spritzing the decoupage paper. She does it every time she crafts with it. And I've been doing the same and it has been a game changer for me. So highly recommend to spritz it. It just like helps move it. It helps decrease man, the... Um, no, I feel like I moved it. Helps decrease the wrinkles as well. So this is like my new go-to. So just dipping into my liquid patina. I'm going to put a coat in sections. That way I have more control over, you know, like the wrinkles. I have literally never with using liquid patina, I have never gotten a um a bubble like i used to with mod podge i've never gotten a bubble do i get wrinkles sometimes yeah but that's because of the way i'm doing it but you see how i was able to like lift it up put it back down it has a lot of give to it Look at that. I love it. I love you. I'm really bad though. I need to start putting like more around the edges because my edges always lift up. Hi, Adventures with Beth. I believe they're for all drills, Deborah. Or, well, mine goes into my screw gun. Sorry, not, no, wait. No, it goes in my drill gun. Never mind. Yeah, Janine said she doesn't have as many wrinkles with Patina. Janine actually, that girl, she uh, thrifted this like wall pocket thing. And it had so many like details on it. And I mean like, like ripples, you know. And she, that girl decoupaged some paper on there. And it looks so good for as many lines and like divots that it had. It came out so good. Hi, Margie. How are you? Thank you so much. If you are on Facebook, if you can share the love and sprinkle this, if you think other people would like it, please, please do so. Please, it helps me out a lot. And if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button. Hi, Jennifer. Oh my goodness, Belinda. My pleasure. Thank you for being here. And did I miss Veronica? I like how you spell your name, Veronica. Um, oh, that makes me so happy, Veronica. All right, we're just going to go all the way up with this. Hopefully I put enough. I don't think anything's soaking it up. Eh, it kind of is. I think I'm just going to go... Sorry, again, if I'm missing any conversations or anything directed at me while I'm looking down. 
there's a little wrinkle right there and I don't like it. So you can see I'm just applying the Mod Podge. Not that. <laughs> We've been talking about Mod Podge. Uh, the liquid patina to my surface. And then whatever I have left on the brush is what I use to push it down. So I'm not dipping my brush in again. I won't do that until the next go round. I actually think I might uh, dry this first, then do my um, my sanding and then put the final coat. Just trying to make sure that all my corners are on here. I'm so bad with corners. How much resins are you all mixing that you need a drill to do it? I've been doing a bunch. Hi, Stardust by Mel. Mel is on Facebook, you guys, and she is very, very crafty too. You should definitely check her out. Um, she's very creative. I think you guys would enjoy it. Thank you, April, for sprinkling. Hi, Jody. Thank you, Judy, for sharing. I appreciate it very, very much. Kind of just like lifting to make sure I get this. If I don't, I don't think it's a big deal because I want this to kind of look grungy and messy anyways. So I think we'll be good. Um, okay, so we're going to dry this first just a little bit and then I'll sand my edges down. See right there how it's coming up? I don't want that. Ah! And it also happens too, if y'all are decoupage people, tell me, every time I go to dry, it's like my decoupage paper kind of wants to curl up on the edges and then it starts lifting. Like every time. Stay down. Stay. Like this one seems fine, but I haven't put heat on there. Hi, Donna. Maybe I'm like holding it too close. Let's go up and away. It's okay. We will fix it if it doesn't. Alia said she just mix, uh, mixes water with Mod Podge and it works out way better than just straight out of the bottle. Yes, Mel, you do need to try liquid patina. It's a game changer. It really is. It's so, like the consistency is awesome. Susan, this one is a Mr. Sprayer. Right. And again, I guess I'm not too worried because I want it looking grungy. So if some of the sides don't want to stick, that's fine with me. Polyacrylic is food safe. So is Big Top. I love learning from you guys. Paige, I don't believe oil-based sealers are uh, food safe. Katie, hi, you're working on a decoupage table. Ugh. I have a table that I found at the thrift store and I want to decoupage the top. So bad, but I don't know what I want to put on it. Oh, 
Yes, Ruthie, Big Top is water-based and it is food safe. Sin, it does store well. Sin asks, does the liquid patina store well? I'll do a bunch of projects with glues and stuff and then not use it after. No, it doesn't. I would just recommend after opening it to put like some plastic wrap or something because it does get hard to reopen. So does the big top for whatever reason. Hi, Nancy. Where are you at from California? I started using pin tart decoupage varnish and glue, but really hear a lot of great things about patina. Ooh, that was a mouthful, girl. Oh, yes, Katie, definitely post it. I got the owl, like the crazy bright owl decoupage paper. And I think I want to do that on the, because it's just like a little, looks like somebody handmade it. It looks like a really nice like crate and then like the MDF like round top on it. But it's really nice. Like the, the crate itself looks like it was handmade. Um, and I thought it would be fun to do it on there. Okay. So now I'm going to take my little finger sander. We're going to go in downward motions. If you go any other way, you're probably going to tear your paper. So I'm going to go in downward motions and then we'll put our second coat of Mod Podge to really seal that paper onto our surface. And make sure your paper is dry because if you do this while it's wet, then all you're going to do is you're going to rip your paper. And then all that hard work you just did is going to get really frustrating and it's going to take a lot longer. Desto. We were from, we moved from Long Beach to Kansas. I do. Did I say Mod Podge again? Ugh. Did I say Mod Podge again, you guys? Great. All right. I'm a mess. always thinking like oh I'm gonna do a DIY that's gonna take like an hour you're funny I think we all know what happens when I go live I don't stop talking at the very end I think I might put some black wax on this just because Um, some of that red started coming through. Not like it's a big deal, but okay. So we'll just put one more layer of our liquid patina on. Make sure we seal those edges where we just sanded so nothing lifts up on us. And again, this is going to like completely seal your paper. You could also use Big Top, but you can use liquid patina as a clear coat as well. So. And you could use, I've used Big Top as a uh, decoupage medium too. So, so many things. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not painting the rest of the piece, anything else. So, just seeing if I missed anything. Okay. It's like, is that the baby? You guys, I got some big news coming up for y'all, but it's going to have to wait. I got to get all my ducks in a row, but it's going to be good. I love that paper. This is the one I used on my dresser. I love it too. I love, I really love the papers that have like a bunch of different images on them. Not that you can't get a lot from 
you know, like one of the bigger pieces, but I just like how there's just so many options. So many options to choose from. Yes, I'm very familiar with uh, Modesto. We lived there all of our lives, uh, Long Beach, our California, LA area. Melissa's in Orlando, Florida. Okay. So I'm just clearing like the rest of the paint right now. That's what I'm doing here since I already have it. And then we'll start putting kind of like the decorations on. So let me dry this so I can flip it on around and clear it. Do I have the rivets paper? I don't know the names of them, Paige. I'm sorry. There's there's too many of them. <laughs> Carrie's watching on both and says there's kind of like a delay, so it sounds funny. Mel's originally from California, moved to Arizona. Yes, we moved here, how old's Everett, seven? So seven years ago. Ooh, you guys, this came out smooth, a smooth. And I love the paper, how it looks like I added like these grungy like parts with like paint or waxes, but I didn't. Just making sure this is dry before I turn it over so nothing sticks to it. You guys, we don't know what's going to happen right here. I grabbed a pumpkin. I grabbed some other things. And um, uh, I'm just going to have fun. I think uh, if you're new to my channel or new to me, I am down to try anything and I'm not afraid of messing it up if I mess it up then I just learn my lesson for next time uh, but I will always try stuff out even if I'm unsure how else are we going to learn and grow right so you could see I don't know if you guys could see it looks like it has like a white film it will not dry down like that at all. It will dry clear. Um, and just so you know, too, for those of you that use the DIY products, um, liquid patina actually dries down to be a matte versus big top, which has just like a tiny bit of like a sheen to it. So if you are looking for kind of like a matte coverage, this is your girl. It would be nice if they made... Um, big top in like a true mat, that would be awesome. All right, make sure I smooth that out and then we will go ahead and dry that up. I know, right, Trace? I can't either, but you know what? I would never ever move back now. Hey, girl, don't worry about it. You take care of your boy's birthday. The paper will be here. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that um, has ordered like the papers and paint and things like that for me and waits until I get it back in stock. Um, I think I said in my last video, I keep everything in my home. Like in, I just have like my basement that you guys have seen. And I could only keep so much stock on hand because I just don't have the room to carry a lot of it. So that's why if you're like, geez, she's constantly selling out. It's not because I'm getting like 50 pages and selling out like that. It's because I only order like 10 to 15 pages. Um, every time I order and then paints, I only keep eight on stock at a time. Plus what I keep in my booth. But that's why, like, I I sell out so often is because I don't carry a large amount in my home. 
Brenda, no. I mean, no. I was like, oh, I crap on this. Um, sometimes I'll shake it up, but um, I don't really think I I like shake it all the time or anything like that. So no, big top I shake. I know that. I don't know why I do it, but big top I like always shake. I think it's habit from using um, what do you call it? Like poly acrylics. Oh, dog hair all over it. Hello, Kimberly. All right. Oh, gosh. I probably should not put this. If you guys buy one of my custom pieces and it doesn't have dog hair in it, then I probably didn't make it, okay? Just put it out there. Ugh. Katie, you just got to build up a little by little, girl. I'll have them. I would start with like the, uh, like a neutral and then a pop of color. Next time you like order, get a neutral and then a pop of color, you know, and then kind of like slowly build it up like that. So you could kind of play around with color and then have fun with the neutrals. Sammy, can you use Big Top with acrylic paint? Yep, you could use it with anything. Actually, Debbie just came out with a new line of paint and it is, it's not an acrylic paint, but it's, it's used like it. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it. I'm going to be completely honest. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to grab some of these pieces just so you can see. These are the two pieces. Couldn't tell you what molds they came from. I am a great saleswoman. Okay. So if you did not know that already. <laughs> I don't know the name of the decoupage paper that I'm selling. I don't know the name of the mold, but I'll get there. Okay. I'll get there. So I'm going to use these two molds. I might use, oh, wait, is this too tiny? It's going to put it over the crown, crayon, crown, but I think it's too small. And then the bigger one. I think is too big. Where are you? I have to do it there. Oops. Hold on, you guys. Yeah, this one's too big. Let me see. Oh yeah, that one's like way too big. All right, so I think we're gonna leave the the crowns out. Dainty flourishes. Pages on it. Yeah. I know that they're on them. I just, I don't, I don't have them near me. And I also just don't pay attention when I'm making them. I should probably learn them, but you know, I'm going to go ahead and do these first because, um, I know that I want to put them up here. The pumpkin. Yes, you guys, we are using this pumpkin is going to go down here. I'm going to put some moss. It's going to look weird and crazy. And I love it. Um, I'm just trying to decide what color I want. I think I'm just going to go black or black velvet. Maybe I think I'll do black velvet on these. from Dainty Flourishes. You guys are awesome. So I'm going to use black velvet. So black velvet and little black dress are different in that black um, velvet is going to be almost like a charcoal gray color. And, um, and little black dress is DIY's like truest black. Where is he? I'll just use this little one. Um, and you can deepen both of their colors by just using black wax as well. If you're really, um, trying to get like a pure black, uh, oh, those are the trimmings molds, Ruthie. Yes. Those are wonderful. So many things you could do with the trimmings molds. 
I'm probably going to have to get, no, that's why I got these. Uh, Megan asks, what made you choose your name? I chose Unicorn Just Designs because at the time I was doing a, uh, I had a wood sign business going on. And when I started that business, it was actually doing chalkboards. And I would make chalkboards for like people's kids' birthdays. I would like actually um, draw like things on them. Um, and at the time, Everly, my, my oldest, she was obsessed with anything unicorn, like anything. And um, so I wanted something with unicorn. And then my girlfriend was like, what about dust from like the chalk dust? And then, you know, <clears throat> designs. I should have probably thought this out a little bit. Mm, whatever. Um, and then when I switched it over to wood signs, we kind of figured, okay, well, there's still sawdust and all that stuff, so it works. And then when I created my YouTube channel, I had no idea that my YouTube would take off or anything like that. So I was like, well, I don't know what to name it. I'll just put Unicorn Dust Designs because that's what I'm calling the wood side business. And that's what it's been ever since. Sammy flipped a clock and named her Veronica. I did. Where is Veronica? She's she's over there. Veronica's over there chilling. She hasn't found a home. My toolbox found a home, though. The toolbox found a home. Somebody snatched up my upcycled toolbox. Um, I will say, though, with my uh, channel name, I love that it's unique, but I also wish that I had put my name somewhere in there because, you know, I'm proud that I have a channel and that I have a community and it would just be nice to like, you know, have my name on there, but it's okay. As long as you guys know my name, then we're good. I love using chippy brushes for things like this because it really gets into all of the crevices that's good. Ah, love the name. And I started watching you when you made all the wood rounds. Yes. I actually, you guys, that fall, well, it was kind of fall, the tribal looking one that I made, the last one. Um, I need to send that to my sister-in-law. She ended up messaging me and was like, um, is that mine? And I'm like, it could be yours. So I need to send that to her. He said, yeah. Okay, let's dry these. I think one coat should be totally sufficient. And then I'm going to, like, doing one piece at a time. No problem, Robin. Thank you, Janine. I think you guys know what's going to go on these. Do you guys know what's going to go on these? Come on. Katie got it. And then what I'm going to do is I'll probably put some black wax over these to seal all of the paint. And then I will go on top of it with my gold wax. Yeah, you guys know I love gold. It's my favorite. Man, if there was no dry time in crafting, imagine how much we could get done. Like seriously, half of my videos and stuff when I'm filming is like dry time. Wait, wait, I missed a piece. Hey, <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello, Susan. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the community. Everybody here is so nice. 
I'm crafty. Oh, I missed another piece. Where are you? I just saw you. There you are. You're back here. Get in there. All right. Is that the only... There's nothing worse when you like think you got everything and then you attach it and you see like a piece that wasn't painted. Mm. Oh. Thank you. All right. Am I done with that? I'm like, what do you guys think? I was thinking of doing the pumpkin like summer crush and all that stuff, but I don't know if it, if I, if we should do the pop or because like my initial thought was doing the pumpkin in the orange trying attempting to paint the leaves like they're green then going over it with like a dark or black wax to kind of grunge it out or if we should paint it like a darker color like black velvet and then do all of the gold and all of that stuff on it so it kind of like goes with it what do you guys think oh thank you Stacy I appreciate that okay so I'll keep moving you guys let me know that way we're not here all all night like usual hey at least this isn't like at nine o'clock at night eh? all right black I don't know I think that was my dark wax brush but Oh, what pale blue. You crazy, Lisa. Black. Yes, it's the Hello Pumpkin Mole. Maybe mix the black velvet and chocolate. Ooh, dang. You guys are, you guys are getting crazy. I'm down with it, though. I'm down. I'm down with crazy. Black velvet and gold. Maybe a Halloween vibe. All right. I like that you guys are going dark. I like it. Or what about uh, Aaron? Are you the one that said purple, gold, and black? Oh, that would be nice. We are doing great, Michelle. How are you? Ooh, okay. Alias said purple, gold, and black, and then that just popped in my mind. Uh, Cherry picked. So we are, yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good call, alias. Okay, that's what we're doing. Sorry, I'm coming over to the side because I don't want to get it right here because then it's just going to transfer everywhere. Anything I set right there. So if I'm kind of like off to the side, I apologize. So this is just going to, the black wax is going to seal all of our paint. It's going to deepen that, um, the, where I'm drawing the blank, the black velvet color. So it's going to make it look like really dark. I don't have any paper towels over here, so I am just going to use this. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys could thank Alias for that because purple cherry picked is definitely uh, Mercedes. No, I think uh, when I was, I think like one of my last lives, I moved it over here because it was in front of the fireplace. Now the fireplace is packed with a bunch of crap. So you know how that, <laughs> we know how that goes. Okay. Do I have anything? Maybe I'll just, <gasps> you guys, I threw this away. I mean, the little strips are okay, but that big strip? Okay. Yes, I am pulling a paper towel out of my trash, you guys. It is what it is. That's okay. It's all used for the same thing. It's not like it was used to, like, you know, wipe my nose. Okay. I'm just kind of wiping back the excess of that wax. Because I want the bowl to sit on top of here as well okay so you can see how black those look and then I'm gonna go ahead that wax is 
pieces everywhere. So I'm going to use the gold wax. Oh, this one still has a lot of wax, like in. Sorry. And then we'll attach these and then we'll work on the pumpkin. Yeah, cherry picked is amazing. I like to hit gold with my finger. You could do it however you want, but I've always just used my finger to apply it. I feel like using my finger gives me a little bit more control over kind of like where it goes. Uh, I don't want it there. I like it. Okay. I have to think. It's going to be like that. So I think I kind of want to hit those edges since we will see them. Okay. Here's that. I'm hooked on gold wax. <laughs> it gets addicting. This is um, golden rule. Or you could just search gold wax and you'll find it too. John's up there, but. Bev says she got one of the King cutting boards from Dollar Tree and is going to use cherry picked in the pumpkin molds to put on it. I'm excited to try the molds with the resin. I tried the clay and it kept cracking on me. I see, I'm, I'm lazy because it has been, um, I've wanted to do, like, I keep seeing people do stacking the pumpkins and stuff like that, but I'm like, I do not want to use that much clay in that pumpkin mold. So I have not touched it <laughs> with clay. Yes, girl, me too. Um, Kimberly said she wishes DIY would come out with a silver wax. I wish they would come out with a silver wax, a rust colored wax, a gray wax, all the waxes. I wish they would just have like a crazy array of waxes. Now you can create your own wax colors with clear wax and mixing a little bit of paint, but I just want the wax. <laughs> That's all. I just want the wax. Just give me the wax. So I'm going to go ahead and attach these. That way those, these can set up as we're working on our pumpkin. Denise, use gold wax on everything. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm like, if this thing is clogged again, go ahead and grab it. Little brush. Here we go. This one's like all weird. I'm going to go ahead and rub that in. And put that on there. Hopefully this sticks. It looks like this one's kind of like sunken in a little. Like I didn't fill it all the way up. So let's hope. I do not like people rub it with their hands, the type on, and I, you guys can see, like, I don't care about getting messy, but for some reason, the feel of this, um, glue, mm -mm, I don't like it. I do not like it. I'm just going to hold this down. Thank you, Mercedes. Okay. I just want to hold that down. Cause like I said, it kind of was like hollow in some spots um because i didn't fill the mold all the way so it's kind of like lifting up and i don't want to put tape on it because i just put wax on it so we're not going to do that <laughs> sandra i finally completed my order in the car you're so funny Thank you guys so much. Your guys' support, like with my paint, with the decoupage papers, has been 
so amazing and it has helped you know youtube has completely changed now that people are you know back to work and at school and things like that so it's been a lot different so it's been great to be able to compensate some other way for the lack of um youtube compensation no denise no christmas transfers they were completely sold out all right i might have to attach this with um hot glue yeah see i um it's hollow it's not like flat is what i'm trying to get at so what's happening is it's not even like touching the piece so usually i do not attach my molds with hot glue, I use the type on, but since it is not going to touch, I'm going to have to use hot glue. Oh my gosh, come on, you can't be that sunken in. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to do the same with that. I sand the back of the mold when it's not flat. That is good to know. I'm like, I already painted it though, so and wax it. So at this point, it's just going to get stuck in my wax. But that is good to know. I'm like, I just need one more. What is the egg? Before you dry. Hee hee, working pants. Okay, you're good. You're good. We're good. We're good, you guys. I was lucky enough that um, uh, IOD sent them to me. Thankfully, I probably would have missed an opportunity as well. Okay, so. You guys, should we just paint the whole, the whole pumpkin cherry picked? And then with that dark background, then kind of go over it with like the green and the brown. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Sorry, you guys. I like to talk uh, through my plans with you guys and ask you questions, but I answer them myself. <laughs> Hello, DD. Right. Oh, yeah. Terry, uh, Terry Tripp. She said, check the painted, uh, the purple painted lady for transfers. And I've heard that too. I've heard she has like a good stock of the Christmas one. So I'm glad that I can make you laugh, Katie. It's kind of like, you know, I talk to you guys, <laughs> like it's like talking to your spouse when you're asking a question and John always goes, but you already had the answer. You already knew it. Like I asked him the other day about the rooster that I painted with the teal wax. And I go, what do you think? Uh, kissing booth or summer crush? And he at first said kissing booth. And then I don't know if you saw the look in my eyes or what, but he was like, uh, summer crush, summer crush. And then he's like, you already knew what you wanted before you asked me. I was like, yes, yes, I did. All right. Oh. Okay, so we'll set this aside and then I'm going to paint over the whole thing with the cherry picked and then I'll kind of go over with the other colors because I want it to be dark and moody so I don't care if um, it doesn't like if the colors aren't like true to their color, you know, are you picking up what I'm putting now? Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Oh, Alias, thank you. I don't know why I didn't think of this. This is like, 
this purple isn't like Barney purple. This is like a regal, like sophisticated purple. And it's beautiful. I was really, really, really surprised how much I loved this purple when I first used it. I was really shocked. Because it was very unexpected. So I'm going to get in all of these nooks and crannies. And then I'm sure I'm going to have to give this at least two coats. Get into those. I was honestly really surprised that this one was still in stock because of how much people loved the stamp last year. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the one that sells out. And I was surprised that it was not. Um, <laughs> cherries. This is Cherry Picked. Cherry Picked is the name on this. And it's going to dry down lighter, but still be a beautiful dark color. Make sure none, we don't want any white sticking out. I have to order some from you. I really love that paint. It is definitely addicting. When Bree started sending it to me, it was definitely a game changer because I had used Waverly like since I had started crafting. When I started watching videos, I saw everybody using Waverly. So that's what I got. And of course, DIY paints are a higher price point. So it's scary to spend that much on paint. But once you start using it, you really understand the value of it. I'm sure if uh, you guys go, if people are looking for transfers on Etsy, you could, I'm sure, find people that still have it in stock on um, there. Man, next holiday, I better just like buy, like save up for the holiday releases and just like buy tons and tons. I wonder how much other people buy of them to have in stock because they sell out so fast. Okay, so let's try this one. I'll show you what color that turns out. I broke up with Waverly too. I still have all their paints. So I was like, they're... and I like to use the like whites and grays and stuff like that for base colors sometimes if I'm going to use a lot because I don't want to waste my DIY paints on just like a background color that's going to go behind decoupage paper. So you can see how it dries down versus how it looks wet. Yeah, I like to wet this dress and Waverly makes the mess. Yeah, it gets really muddy. But you know what? I won't knock it because I used it. And if DIY paint went away today, I would go back to using it. Yeah, I think I want to do a second coat. Eh, yeah. Yeah, I just have to. I know I'm going to use a dark wax on it, but there's still... I just don't want it to show through. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, do I even need to paint really the leaves and the stem? Because I'm like, maybe I could do dark wax, black wax over the entire thing. And then just hit the leaves and the stem with the gold wax. What do you guys think about that? Instead of like painting like the leaves green, this brown, just do black wax on all of it. And then just the gold on the stem and the leaves. 
Hi, Brenda. Hello, Beverly. I am getting the pumpkin molds, Bev, and um, the gingerbread one. The Christmas tree mold is completely sold out. So I did not get the opportunity to get that one. Was there another mold? The pumpkin, the gingerbread, the Christmas tree. Am I missing one? I don't know. Oh, we missed a piece. Who's coming down? Hey, you. Your little sister like that. She's been awake. She's been awake? Yeah. She's fighting it for sure. She has to be tired. Mm -hmm. Hi. What time is it? Uh, 8.25. I just saw a message from the picture. It's 8.25. Okay. Don't worry if you hear a crying baby. John is upstairs. She is fighting sleep. She had shots today. And, uh, yeah. Are you going to, are you laying down? You guys have your alarm set? I have my, I'm in bed, but every still up there on the couch. Oh, she is? Yeah. Okay. Well, as long as she knows what bedtime is, then we're fine. Okay. You guys brushed your teeth? Okay. Well, go lay down. It's late. Okay. All right. I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you. No. I gotta go. No, mom. Yeah, I know I'm yours. I love you. I love you too. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Late start. So you guys get to sleep in. Ooh, ooh. But tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's late start. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Oh, yeah, it's TLP, right? Yep. I don't think I would use anything else. Ra Rochelle said, just wanted to say I watch your videos all the time and the vibes are always immaculate. Thank you so much. Thank you, girly. I appreciate that. I think she fell back asleep. She's, I have been so blessed. Well, not well, but with all of my kids, they've been pretty good sleepers. Everett was a, um, a hard one because, yeah, he was a little bit more difficult. But Everly has always been an amazing sleeper. And Montgomery will sleep from, like, 7 8 p.m to 7 the next morning she is amazing of course she has her days and her nights and stuff like that but for the most part that girl will sleep throughout the entire night uh, yeah what sucks is like seeing them when they like are telling you to help like hold their arms down and stuff and like they're just screaming bloody murder and I'm like oh my gosh don't ask me to do this like don't okay so that was cherry picked we're gonna go ahead and dry that baby up I asked my husband to put my paints away for me from for the love of junk weekend and he literally put them he color coordinated them and I was like you're so sweet all right, so we'll dry this up, put black wax on her, and then we will get the golds going. How cool is that going to be? I'm so excited. I'm, I am really... I am being really hoarder with my new transfers. No willy nilly with them. I have to feel strong about what I put them on since there will be no more. Uh, I love it.
and an idea, uh, of course, for your own personal use. But if you took um, copies, like colored copies of the transfers, you can use them as decoupage paper too. So just let me know. Uh, you can just take some tissue paper to some cardstock and make a copy of them and then you can use them longer. But I know how you feel because that's the candy cane one. I literally am like, I have to have the most perfect project for the Santa Claus. And I'm gonna keep waiting and waiting and then it's gonna get to the point where I don't use it because I did that last year with many of the seasonal transfers. Y'all know I'm frugal, okay? When things are expensive, you got to stretch them. As long as you're not yeah, selling them, you know what I'm saying, and you're using them for personal use, then yeah, I would do that. It's a great way of getting your money's worth and putting, um, and being able to use them in more than one way. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we got this baby all painted up, making sure I don't have any white showing. All right. Woo -woo. Okay. You guys, I started Fit Girls Guide again. I don't know if you guys remember when I started my, did I start the fitness channel or was it on my vlog channel? I don't know, but um, I, after having the, we gonna get personal here. Okay. After having this miscarriage, which I did announce. So I hope all of you guys aren't like, what? Um, oh, dang it. You guys are already messed up. Crap. I didn't put clear wax down. Do I have any paper towels down here? I don't know what this paper towel was used for. Okay. Shoot. Oh, man. Dang it. All right. What I'm going to have to do is... Oh, and then I wiped it back so much that it took off. All right, that's okay. That's okay. We wanted it to look grungy, right? So I'm just going to go with it. And then I could go over it with some clear wax to wipe some of the black back. All right, you guys breathe. It's all right. We're good. We're good. We got, we got this. Okay. Okay. We got this. It's okay. It's okay. Um, uh, okay. Yes. So, um, since having the, the miscarriage, I feel like my body has just not, come back at all. Like I popped out right away, um, with a baby belly. And then, um, with my other kids, I felt like after my pregnancies and stuff, I bounced like back fairly quickly. But with this one, like I just have not been able to, oh gosh, to get my body back. So we're on Fit Girls Guide again, and I've been really good. It's only been Tuesday, but it's, I've been really good staying on track and eating and not snacking everywhere. And that bothers me. Maybe I'm hoping I could cover it with the, um, the wax because some white came through. All right, I'm probably going to have to wash this brush after using it. I'm just going to take because I don't plan on dipping it back in. But yeah, so we are starting again with Fit Girls Guide. Fit Girls Guide is um, like, a, like a meal plan, workout and stuff, and it's always worked for me. I tried it after I um, had Everett. And it did wonders for me and really like taught me how to meal prep and all that stuff. So I know it's something that works. It's just, you know, finding the motivation to actually do it. I really hope this dries down a little lighter. 
dang it, man. I think that once it dries down, it'll hopefully be okay. Alias said it's an emotional belly. Yeah, it's just so, it's so weird. It's just like, even just like the, um, what do you call it? Just like the, the shape of my body has like changed. I don't know. It's just so odd to me, but I knew that I needed to make a change. So I was like, all right, I could either dwell on it or we could do something about it. So we trying to do something about it. All right. So. Here's where we're at. Dang it. So this is why, you guys, perfect example right here of why you like to, you should clear your pieces first. So either apply Big Top or a clear wax because that's going to help you wipe back those dark waxes to reveal more of like the paint color. When you go, like I did, with the black wax straight onto your paint, it's just going to stick to that paint, and it's not going to want to come off. So that is why we clear, and then we do the dark wax. <laughs> Katie, you're gorgeous. No, I'm not a stalker, just a safe admirer. Uh, oh, Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. Okay, let's let's go in with the gold wax. We'll save this. It's not a big deal. Oh, thank you, guys. I posted it on, uh, like, the community tab and stuff, I think. But it's been, I think, over a month now. But thank you, guys, very, very much. All right. I'm going to go very careful with this. Uh, Leanne, I put the clear wax over it, but I didn't want to wipe back too much because then it was taking my paint with it and showing the white resin. So I didn't want to wipe too hard. Alias said, anyone who doesn't have the wax, it's worth every penny and lasts forever. And it's creamy and wonderful. It is. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. That's, uh wrestling that's john and i did i i was like did i even put that's john and i's guilty pleasure is watching wrestling okay gotta be very careful we don't want to get it on the pumpkin itself just the vines okay. this is where it kind of wiped back to the white so I'm just kind of patting it on so it sits on top and doesn't wipe it away okay let's see where's this vine going I'm kind of putting this on a little heavier than I usually would because I really want it to like pop usually I just kind of like dust the wax over this and nah nah uh-uh I really want it to be like pow pow in your face, in your face, beautiful. Hi, Kathy. We are playing around with decoupage paper, molds, waxes, DIY paints, a little bit of everything. I think when this dries down, it's going to look... Gorga, for sure. Yes, you're so true. Be uh, Beverly said we're our own worst critics. All right, let's see. Oh, that's looking good. <laughs> I totally was going to try and give this like a kind of like fall vibe, but it's definitely looking like a like Halloween. Which is totally okay with me. I still, gosh, one day I will take pictures of my bookshelf. I finally decorated it and it looks so good with all of my Halloween. Um, all right, I'm going to wipe that finger off real quick and kind of read it. Uh, Halloween DIYs that I've done. All right. I really 
you don't want this to get on the pumpkin. So there we go. Get on that one right there. It's looking good, you guys. Look at that. Oh, I like it. Hey, Carrie from Kansas. What part of Kansas, girl? Yes, the deco posh paper is so fun. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Thank you, Gloria. I appreciate that. Uh... Oh, Beverly, I'm so sorry. Fort Scott. I'll have to look that up. Show Janine. I was like, why are you asking me that, Janine? <laughs> Janine was doing some uh, red project at For the Love of Junk Weekend. And this chick's hands, she was covered in red because she was wet distressing. Oh, my gosh. Her hands were completely red. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Carrie with a K. So, yeah, look at now we got to do the stem. gold wax i mean you can't you can't go wrong with gold wax you guys it's so crazy all just like the little fine details in these molds is outrageous i think uh, uh, it's sitting on the side so yeah i'll do like the side of the stem get that side. I try to think of it like, how is it going to look if it were to be like hung? What angles of it are you going to see? And I feel like you would see like where it's lagging. Camera's lagging. I feel like you would see this side of the pumpkin, like the stem. So I want to make sure that I put the gold wax right there. So when you're looking at it, from the side angle, it kind of just like all makes sense. I'm like, do I need to go heavier anywhere? I feel like right there needs a little bit of gold. I see, I'm putting like my sleeve and all the black wax. Thank you, Carrie. Ever since I started working with clay, that's the only thing I do now. It's so much fun. I've been getting better at working with clay. I don't resent it as much as I used to. I definitely did not enjoy working with it at first, but it is fun once you get the hang of it. There we go. I want to make sure like, I get all the details in those leaves. All right, I better stop while I'm ahead because then I'm going to get wax somewhere I do not want it. Okay. So now we're going to attach this to the bottom and then I'm going to put some of like that green dingy looking moss kind of over it. Hi P. How are you? Yeah, it's gold wax. Hello, MB Gray Designs, you guys. She has a YouTube channel. She's somebody to check out as well. Mary Beth. Oh my gosh. The rub and buff, I will never again. Do you guys remember when I did that rolling pin on here? Oh, oh. Ah, so gross. Okay. Now, is it, are you hollow? No, you're, you're nice and flat. So we're going to use the tight bond with this baby. <laughs> Diane said, looks like I'm doing another pumpkin. Fort Scott is about an hour south of Lewisburg. Okay. Okay. So not that bad. All right. I'm gonna, you guys, my tight bond did not come with like the little like twist closed tabs. So I have to... And then it clogs. Come on. I have to brush this on anyways. Come here. 
Um, what do you say? What's the best way to keep the clay from cracking? Paint it while it is wet. That is your best bet. Um, I used to have that happen as well. And then I learned to paint it while it was still wet. And then it helps with the cracks. Is it this brush? This brush feels like tacky. Some of the brushes that I brought to For the Love of Junk Weekend, I think I need to like, act, like clean again because they, I think, still have like product in them or something like that. I'm like squeezing this as tight as I can. Wow. Oh, you know what I should do is put it in a condiment bottle. That's what I should do. Okay, I'm gonna save this to the side because I don't know if it needs more. Sorry, I'm missing out. Bye, Janine. Yes, paint it before it dries and it will reduce the cracking so much. Okay, and then I'm going to use this to wipe away that excess glue that's sticking up right there. Never mind, I'm going to take this. Okay, it's already curing. The type on quick and thick like really does dry very fast. I'm going to have to, it's going to be clogged tomorrow, but that's okay. Uh, that's a good idea, Alias. How do you clean your brushes, Sammy? With, uh, I use my DIY brush cleaner for some things like the soap and like really pigmented colors. And then the rest I just wash with soap and water. This is the, um, especially you guys, if you have the DIY brushes, paint brushes. I got some, I must have had some gold on my hand. It's all right. Some kind of got. Uh, then definitely invest. This is like what it looks like. And it has like a little, See the soap and then see like the little grater looking metal mesh thing in there. It's really awesome. And I swear this stuff helps so much because I clean my wax brushes in this like every now and then. And it gets a lot of that wax out. Oh, you know what I should have done, you guys? I should have applied a sawtooth hanger to the back before I put all of these on. But, you know, I could, I'll just have to, I could either lay it down on a towel and then like hammer it in. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. Dang it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so the moss and then we're done. And this was nice and fun and quirky. And I, you know, besides me talking, it really did not take that long. You know what I'm saying? Did not take that long. And the paper is gorgeous. And this just shows you like a fun way of, you know, it's kind of cool. It looks like a pumpkin body, like a pumpkin dress on her corset uh, or on the body form. That's kind of cool. But it just shows you the fun way of how you can mix all of these products together and how just sometimes think outside the box and have fun with things. You know, I did not know if this was going to look good. I literally knew I wanted to use this pumpkin. That's all I knew about tonight's video. And I came down here and initially I thought I was looking for a, um, like a cutting board. And I forgot what decoupage paper originally did. Couldn't find the cutting board. I found this piece of wood. And then I was like, you know what? What can I do that's kind of different and quirky? And then I grabbed 
it was actually I wanted to use the diamond pattern from this, but the diamond pattern did not fit on this piece of wood. So I started looking at the other images and saw this and I was like, you know what? It's weird, but I'm going to go for it, you know, and then you got this. Oh, command strip. Pamela, you're on it. Good job. Okay. Yep, that's my body shape, but a flat butt. <laughs> All right. So this is, I have not been able to find Spanish moss at Dollar Tree. Let me just tell you that. Sammy, there's never a bored moment when I'm watching you craft or your videos. Love watching you. Thank you so much. Um, I have not been able to find regular Spanish moss, so I've been taking them out of different DIYs if I can. Um, but I'm actually using my Spanish moss DIYs in my bookshelf. So this is what I have. But this I actually like for Halloween DIYs because it kind of looks like dingy. The smell is horrible. Uh, it smells like old, dusty, I don't know. Uh, has Cinderella transitioning after midnight. I like it. All right. So I am going to, I'm going to start by just putting it near here and then kind of just build, build onto it. But I do like this stuff for Halloween, like the grungy, grungy look here. And you do not need loads of hot glue for this stuff to stick. So don't get all hot glue. Happy. This stuff has like, it's like dusting. It's like, <sighs> wear a face mask. Oh, geez, Louise. And this one I think is just called like a flower moss or something like that. Thank you, girl. I actually made a mug of this. You know, I always like make things and then I'm like, I'm going to sell these and then I don't ever post them. Had a bad day and this live video was really so nice to just relax to. Thanks, Sammy. Beautiful work as usual. It's nice to chat with all you girls. Oh, that makes me really happy, Ruthie. Thank you for spending time with us. <sighs> Tomorrow will be a better day. Not all days are bad days and you will have a great day tomorrow. When you wake up, think of one positive thought and let that carry you through your day. At least try it. I know it's easier said than done because let me tell you, yesterday I had a very overstimulated day and it was a lot. So I'm in the deep south. How much Spanish moss? I heard though your guys' Spanish moss, if you get it from a tree, has a bunch of bugs on it. Is that true? I mean, I would imagine so. Okay, now let me shake this off. I'm trying to see. I think it kind of looks good, just like, like that right under it. What do you guys think? Instead of like carrying it, you know what I'm saying, like over, I think it looks good with it just kind of sitting what do you guys think? Like under? Or do you think that like there should be more coming? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like up? What do you guys think? Just under the pumpkin. Okay. That's perfect the way it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Make sure if we got any holes and stuff. Nope. See, doesn't that like the the color of this moss just like fit with like the, the kind of like grunginess and like dark theme we're going for here? And then look at the the gold on there, and then the gold on those babies. Let's see if we could get a good view of it facing. It doesn't like it doesn't show the beauty like it does. Look at that. Oh, yes, ma'am. Mm -mm -mm. That looks good. Wasn't that fun, you guys? And again, like besides me talking, that wouldn't have taken so long to do, you know, if you were just crafting away and stuff. 
And it was a great way of using several different items to create something. So I hope that inspired you guys. I did a navy blue pumpkin with that mold and hit the details with white wax. Ooh, Lizzie, that sounds awesome. I need to pour some more of these. I'm too lazy to clay them. That is for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Red Fox. Appreciate it. If you're on Facebook, you guys, if you can share this out and if you are on YouTube, if you can like, I would so appreciate it. I had so much fun doing these li this live with you and hopefully I can do more. I'm feeling more like myself these days. So um, I'm hoping to come on and hang out with you guys. And this was a nice change up too from like a video and stuff. I know lives aren't everybody's jam though. So, uh, oh God. Um, so that's why like, I don't, it's, I don't replace a video with them, but hopefully I can start doing a consistent live again. Cause I love hanging out with you guys. Good night, Mary Beth. Aaron said, I've missed the lives. I have too. It's so much fun hanging out with people that love the same thing you guys do. Oh, Andrea said, love it. So happy I took my birthday off tomorrow so I could stay up. Happy birthday, girlfriend. Happy, happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. I love the lives more, Sammy time. I love all that you do. Good night. Good night, Carrie. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so, so much. I don't think this will be on my website. I think it is going to go in my, um, my bookshelf. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's, that's not safe. Or you know what? This is the crafter in us, you guys. I'm like, oh, that's not savable. And I'm like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. We cut the bottom half off. There we go. There you go. We got an, a brand new sheet there. There we go. We do not waste anything. All right, my friends. Sorry about that. Good night. Thank you guys for being here with me. I appreciate you all so very much. I will um, be back on Thursday for Thursday to Thursday. Saturday is going to be the two by four pumpkin DIYs. And then we'll do it all over again. Andrea, I will try and remember to take a clip and put it in Saturday's video for you guys. I already uploaded the thrift haul. So Saturday, I'll try and like do a clip and remember. But you guys have a good night. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And I will see you soon. Bye.